People often ask me, but what if someone steals the food? And then my only question is, how can you steal something that's free? The Free Food Fridge Project is a community and mutual aid project to provide free food for folks in marginalized communities. What has been so astonishing to me is how fast people picked up on what was going on and how much coverage it got, and then how much it reached other people that needed it. It's not someone coming and taking a bunch of food at once, it's many people coming up and taking just what they need. And that's been a really beautiful thing to watch because we live in a place of scarcity. Donors have been coming by actually every single day to stock the fridges. It's been a lot of coordination. The fridge is emptied every single day. I wanted to start this initiative because I wanted to help with the food apartheid happening in marginalized communities here, specifically in Albany, in the South End, West Hill, and all the other communities around. You can tell the difference in the streets in the different neighborhoods, where the money is being put into the cities and where it's not. As someone who grew up in a very food insecure home, in a low income home, I wanted to have a resource for folks just like me to be able to be provided with healthy alternatives. We've also worked with a ton of local farms and it's been really amazing to see people just reaching out to us, kind of like, hey, we see what you're doing and we want to help. People are just happy to give. It's been a spreading of the wealth in many different ways, not just monetary donation. It could be food, it could be PPE supplies, it could be clothes, it could be anything. For me, this has been about reparations and reparations for the community at large. The food injustice that's happening within our area is out of control. There are not the same resources in the more affluent neighborhoods as there are here. On this block alone, there are two corner stores and a liquor store, and there's nowhere to get fresh food. Because of the influx of resources, I've seen a direct impact in this community and with myself also because people are not afraid to ask anymore. There's not as much shame around asking for resources that we need. When someone comes up and they don't see something that they saw last time, they say, hey, where's that thing that was in there? Because they really enjoyed it, then we'll make sure we get it back. The fridge is supposed to be reliable for people in this neighborhood. If someone wanted to start one of these fridges, I would say the first place to start is to reach out to independently owned businesses and corner stores, bodegas, and then starting to reach out to places like Lowe's. Lowe's donated our fridge for free. Very grateful for that. Or even just perusing Craigslist and finding a fridge. If it's in a larger city or area, there's gonna be a lot more restaurants. And if you just kind of put it in their ear, they'll most likely bite and they'll probably want to help. It's been, really rewarding being here. I come look at the fridge and check on the fridge every day and being able to talk to people that live in the neighborhood and people who don't live in the neighborhood who need the fridge thank me. I want people to feel that it is their right to have access to healthy and free food. I'd like to see the fridge itself expand into nonprofit. So creating this on a larger scale, creating more of these around the city. If it takes food to learn about inherent bias and racism, then that's the gateway, you know? If we can all find that common ground, then together we can rebuild and we can bring more attention to the places and the people that need it. It's the least we can do as a community. And I want everybody to know that like this is for them and that we are here and in this together.